Welcome to the Jova Hexion voiced edition. You know, what should probably be our normal Thanks. edition. Ho hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. This must be one of those traps. And Remember, I if you, you burp, you're it. fired. <laughs> a murder weapon, fingerprints, and a button from the victim's costume. This is looking bad for us, isn't it? There is quite a sizable amount of evidence here. But how much of it is bullcrap? I can safely say that any further deliberation is a waste of your honest time. Although, I wouldn't mind if the defense were to present evidence not yet shown to the court. Evidence not yet shown. Sean! <laughs> he means evidence that the court hasn't seen yet. In other words, new evidence. What does the defense have to say about this, Mr. Wright? Um, Tell me you don't know what that well, phrase means. Phoenix. The judge is favoring the prosecution right now. What Most else is new? Shit. <laughs> if we answer with something wrong here. The judge will throw a custard pie in our faces. Oh no, actually worse than that. That gavel of his will be ringing out. To the sound of our defeat. As well as a custard pie. And Maya will die. Mr. Wright, do you have something important and necessary to present to this court? Actually, I do. Huh. There's one. Hmm. Hello. One piece of evidence that catches my attention. Something that this court has yet to see. Mr. Wright? I have found proof that Bigfoot exists! I will say this one more time. I do Lots not feel this trial needs to continue at all. Do it, babies. However, I am giving you one chance, and only one. What the judge is saying, right, is don't try pulling one of your usual bluffs here. If I mess this up, it's curtains for all of us. Yeah, I think we get the point. Literally! You may now present one and only one piece of evidence. So don't screw up, Jova. Now then, what is this important evidence that you must show to the court? Let me think. Hmm. Take that! This is a wine glass, is it not? Yes. Please look at the photo of the crime scene one more time. Alright. The scene is a mess because of the victim's struggle against his assailant. Hmm. The vase was broken. His makeup is all over the floor. Vaz, by the way. <laughs> I swear I'll break one over the next person who argues over that. There were- these are all things that were at one point sitting on top of the dresser. Hmm, well, yes, I see your point. <laughs> ha! I'm very tired. Get it? Because you were stabbed with a knife. Ba -ba 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 -ba. However, this glass that is sitting on the top of the dresser is mysteriously untouched. Really? Yes. The only thing that had not fallen over, along with everything else, is this wine glass. This piece of evidence is more than strange enough to warrant further consideration! Can I object? Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not <laughs> dot dot dot. Well, uh, what do you all have to say? Dot dot dot. Objection? They're just, they're just gonna stand there eyeballing you, Phoenix. Ah, uh, well, yes, it is a little peculiar. Can I, be I think the judge once? is just humoring him. Yes, isn't it? I thought it was. <laughs> you can stop looking at me with those puppy dog eyes of yours now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please shoot him. No, please don't go <laughs> on Yeller. 
What is it, Your Honor? Your opinion. I don't have a gun right now. You, you don't need my opinion. Because <laughs> there is no special meaning to that glass. So it's you know, what? what? Considering Edgeworth's backstory, I don't think he'll ever touch a gun. <laughs> it's safe to say that the glass was set there after the crime took place. By the person who discovered the body, Adrian Andrews, for example. Of she could have easily been so shocked that she set the glass down without thinking. Hmm, that does sound very plausible, Mr. Wright. Could Miss Andrews really have set that class down without thinking? No. 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 Nope. Mm, it's possible that is what happened. There's nothing that points to Miss Andrews not being the one who set the cup down. And if I raise an objection here, that would only make the judge slam his gavel down. He slams the gavel down. Guilty. You can't think like that, Phoenix. I can't. I wasn't talking. We can't. The to press. You, yeah. yeah. Right now, you're hanging. Um, right now, you're hanging on by a very thin thread. Yeah. I I kind of could get that, that's why I'm trying to think carefully here. And apparently I am too. Kudos. Kudos to that. Thinking, thinking... Oh. Anything else you can grab onto right now is better than nothing. True. That is very true. So in other words, push as far as we can go. Right, you better not hope you're on, you're not on the pride <laughs> rock of yeah. um, But if Fence would like to challenge the prosecution's theory, we would like to see something that proves it was Miss Andrews who set the cup on the table. CCTV footage? <laughs> hmm, you've turned the situation on its head yet again, as usual. Really? Mr. Edgeworth, do you have any proof to back up your claim? There's no way he has any. He's just bluffing. I have proof. <laughs> actually, actually, Phoenix, that's you. Unlike Mr. <laughs> Wright, I never say anything unless I have the evidence to support it. Thank you. <laughs> what? Strike. Hmm. 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 You're not thinking hard enough today, right? Whereas I am better than ever before. Did you think this wine glass escaped my notice? Then... Then... Oh. <laughs> of course, it has been thoroughly inspected for fingerprints. Fingerprints? It always comes down to that. There were only one set of fingerprints left on this wine glass. Only one? Well, whose were they? They were not the victims, nor the defendants. Rather, they were one of Adrian Andrews. What? Uh, oh, 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 what? Mine glass updated in the court record. Oh well. That is why I said that the person who had discovered the body had left it there. Are we done here, Mr. Wright? Now you know how I felt during Turnabout Samurai. Ugh, I can't believe I fell into another trap! Miss Andrews was probably holding the glass when she went to see Mr. Corrida. But upon seeing his dead body, she was stunned and set the glass down on the dresser. Honestly, it would be more realistic for her to drop it where she stood. <laughs> what you just said makes a lot of sense. Really? Does it? No. Now, do you see right? You can't change any part of my scenario, as oh. it explains everything Hi, all man. too well. Hi, man. 
traveling around the world. I get the feel. I get the feeling, man. I get the feeling, man. doesn't like Phoenix very much. <laughs> no. Well, then again, Phoenix, as history tells us from the first game, Phoenix has never been very lucky with dogs. So I fought long and hard. Wow, maybe maybe Mana can sense this. <laughs> and from here on out, I will show you the answer I've come to discover. It's weird. Mana seems to support Phoenix when he's onto something. Ooh. Wait a second. seems to <laughs> turn on Phoenix when he's in the wrong or in I think court. the prosecution has provided enough evidence for me to enter Maybe my Maybe she verdict. likes to be on the side of the person who looks like they're winning at the time. <laughs> I guess. Unfortunately, I cannot allow you to pass judgment yet. The prosecution has yet another witness we would like to hear the court to hear from. You see, I am now Miles Edgeworth Mark II for justice. Another witness? Yes. For great justice. Bailiff, please bring in the next witness. So, I only yeah. obey the judge, sir. What in the world is Mr. Edgeworth doing? You can read minds, Mia. Why don't you try and tell us? I don't know, Mia. It's like he's become Edgeworth the Undying, a superpowered version of himself. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Edgeworth doesn't know. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Does a lot. Edgeworth, you better run. <clears throat> Edgeworth, for the sake of your sanity, Witness. please run your away. Name and occupation, please. Fader. Get G L T C H A. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, Edgeworth, you caught your, you got yourself on this. <laughs> what a nice comment. I wonder comment. what happened to that calm composure he had earlier. <laughs> so he spent a year of becoming well, a better person. You're really calm if you're stalker. What the year? This is your last man, isn't it? You should be more happy to see me. A year spent of composing himself, and it's broken in a matter of seconds when Olbeck shows up. I saw it the report with the testimony, but who knew that under that helmet? It was the wicked witch of the witness stand! <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So is she is um, she the lead witch behind the plot of um, Phoenix Wright vs. Professor Lee? I tell you, of this course. time I know what I'm supposed to do. Yes! It all makes sense now. Well then we shall burn her. Yeah. Not that I'm going to tell you anything and everything. And that would explain how she was able to time travel. She must travel. be a witch! She turned me into a nude! Even things that don't have to do with that terrible crime! Oh no! This witness, that terrible crime is all this court needs to know. Hmm. Vader mode! <laughs> <laughs> Shush! I'm talking to my dear Edgy Wedgy right now! So, now that Ray gonna- I'm about to scream! <laughs> uh, oh dear. Yes, madam. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 please, by all means, interrupt her. <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm going to forfeit this case anyway if I can get away from her. <sighs> anyway, witness your testimony, please. For well, Mr. Edgeworth, we need her name and occupation. It's true that what they say are you now that there's up that it, man, whatever. I kinda screw that line up. Let me try again. It's true that what they say are over it anyways. Now then, what should I start with? Your name and occupation. Measurements not required. The witness was on security detail at the hotel on the night of the murder. Is this correct, Miss Oobag? It was a great job being able to see my dear Juan. <laughs> it was almost too much for my little heart to handle. Oh, <laughs> I ain't touching that one with a 50 foot pole. You're a fan of the victim? Yeah, it's like. Forget that, a 100 foot pole. Got, I'm getting out of here. It's cute in a fresh way or something. <laughs> yeah. How cool. But not me. I won't say anything so silly. <laughs> oh, I have no interest in a little child like him. Besides, he's a terrible actor. Shut up, I'm talking. I'm only interested in a real man, Juan Corita. But, um, those two were the same age. <laughs> no, seriously. They were both 21. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
well, actually, uh, Hit One is a, a few, a couple days older. So no, I was pacing in front of his room. The cougar has standards? Question mark. <laughs> Very well. Please tell the court what you witnessed the night of the murder. May my sanity hold strong. Well, first I looked at my edgy poo shrine posters. Oh. And then I... What you witnessed, please. Anyway, after the ceremony, I went to pace around in the hallway in front of his room. That poor Mr. Karita, he was trapped like a rat before he died. That was something I was interested in finding out, you know. I wanted to find out whether he was really I could do that. Since I was on the job, I made sure to keep a good eye out the whole time. That's when someone showed up. It was a man coming out of poor Juan's room. <laughs> it was a guy, Martin guy. He was trying to sneak his way out of Juan's room. <laughs> hmm. So Mr. On Guard came out from the victim's room. You know, it'd be a real shame if he had a heart attack during the cross-examination and then game over. Mm. So delicious. Ahem. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. I hope your voice is back to normal this time. Uh, yeah, it pretty much has been this entire part. Seriously, what the hell? It sounded like a Brit tried to do an awful American accent. I don't know, but I had to leave and this spiky Maybe hair Phoenix guy in a red vest too? wanted to voice for me. <sighs> Miss Oldbag, what was your post on that night? Basically, guys, it's a preview. The lobby. I was supposed to help set up the stage for that trifling show. Don't worry, show. Apollo. You'll get your time to shine. But I refuse to help. I'll have you know. It was for uh, the sad part, Shiro, is that he doesn't shine in his own game. He shines. I, the I know, the I know. <laughs> it's still a fun game, but yeah, it shouldn't have been titled Apollo Justice. Maybe it was a good thing that show didn't go on, since he sabotaged the stage and took out a few nails. Besides, that manager with the glasses seemed to be working hard at it without me. Mm -hmm. That guy with the glasses. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought I'd take a break and spread my wings a little. But Adrian Andrews is a woman. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. when you went to hang around the victim's door. So are we saying that Adrian Andrews is Doug Walker, transgendered? Yes. Ooh. What? Don't some of the characters get confused uh, by the fact that Adrian is a woman, though, or is that someone else I'm thinking of? Uh, I, basically, yeah, that's Adrian. Later down the road. Adrian's uh, a name you can apply to both genders. Yep, it's an androgynous name. Something you were interested in, and just what was that? It's not some little thing I can just go around telling everyone, you know. But of this course. is, you know, a court of law. You're in a court of law. Jinx. I think about androgynous <laughs> names is that depending on where you live and stuff, um, different names can be androgynous, oh, but in other and, countries they uh, aren't. Oh, and edgy, of course. Just to add, what is this thing she was interested in? I have no idea. I despise gossip, Your Honor. Let me guess, they try to gossips. Gossip. By the way, did you hear the? Did you hear that one Korea that actually uh, eats uh, cookies? This has something to do with the case. Then you can append it to your testimony. Oh my God! I figured out who the bag is. She's TMZ. Yes. No, Looks like no. We shouldn't force it right now. Well, she's a little bit better than TMZ. At least she doesn't try to ruin everyone's life. And the, the witness stay in the vicinity of the victims. And hell, she's not time. racist. Well, since I was on the job, I made sure to keep a good eye on the whole time. Hold it! Oh, then would you tell us the number of people who went in and out of Mr. Corrida's room? <laughs> I have no idea. <sighs> I wasn't born, so I couldn't count things for those who didn't pay attention in class, you know. That's why ever since I turned 20, I quit keeping track of how old I really am. <laughs> oh, she's 88. Oh, wait, I love this slide. Yes, well, that would explain why your age was not recorded in the report. Oh my god, he's actually right. <sighs> hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Cute meta joke. In any case, the witness then saw someone, correct? Never mind the fact that we don't even know how many people went in or out of the room. That's when someone showed up. 
Hold it! Who in the world was that? I don't know how to say. Then the guys, You're in the I got floor, it. you have to say. The guys, this sort of information has been be carefully guarded from the masses, Sonny. Oh, you know, uh, wait, wait, hold, wait, hold on. Take out one end. You hear that, Sony? Keep the information secret. <laughs> he was the director. I got it. He was the director of Gods of Egypt. Yes. He was. Ah, I'm too scared. I can't say so out loud. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to have Francisca's whip about now. <laughs> whip. Well, yeah. I yeah. guess I can tell you, since you were such a bad boy anyway. <laughs> Almost a shame we don't have her right now. Francisca, maybe keep your whip out of this trial on It was level. John Cena! Hold it! <laughs> you saw my client? Are you sure about that? Yes, yeah, see? <laughs> really? Of course. I'm glad when I saw so someone, I saw a person. Why do I get a sense of deja vu? Ah, well, probably nothing. Maybe to avoid a mess like last year, I should delve into this a bit further. Then I can click on the water cooler. <laughs> hmm. Please tell the court about the man's clothes in more detail. What a troublesome man you are, really. If something like that matters. Lady, I managed to solve a case by asking about bed making. Do not underestimate me. And it does. Um, now what was it? Uh, oh yeah, see, it was Stefan. Yeah. What thing? That gaudy thing he's always wearing and that racing jacket. Guy, yeah. that outfit's awesome. Ah, he was wearing that at the detention center too. The characters in this series tend to wear the same clothes almost all the time. That thing's meant for nothing but seducing oh. women out of their pantaloons. She, she really does. Men. That's something almost every video game character does. Come on, old bag. That's not all we think of. I know. Um, I was just going off on what right. Jover said. So, Mr. Wright. Was this testimony just now important or relevant in any way? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Look alive, Phoenix. Of course, it was important, Your Honor. Objection! Then perhaps you would like to point out what part of that testimony was important. Oh. Uh. Don't you see it, Edgeworth? Uh, Edgeworth, are you okay? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Your Honor? I request what the witness said about the jacket to be appended to her testimony. Uh, okay. Hmm, I don't quite see where you're going with this, but all right. Witness, please. Oh, well. I don't like to badmouth anyone without reason, but if I'm asked. Are you objection, sure about objection, that? objection. You're always badmouthing, Phoenix. Oh, new text major, go ahead and read. Oh yeah, he was wearing his flashy racing jacket. Honestly, it's all just for show. Aha. Uh -huh. What's it now? How many autopsy reports are there? Quite a few this time, because we have a few suicide reports. Okay. Objection! Missile bag. What? Don't say my name for no reason! Do you know what this is? A chocolate egg? Ah, it's button number two on the German Ninja's costume! Now I know she's an obsessed fan. She identified it in a single glance. Do you give it here? If you don't give it to me, I'll punish you with this. Vader, no. I seem to be the only one who's immune to that for some reason. Wow, she really is a dire fan to want a button covered in blood. This button was discovered on Mr. Ungard's body during a full body search. See? See? 
This button proves beyond the shadow of a doubt that it was that rascal Engard. <laughs> it was caught up in the pleats of his nickel samurai Hakama pants. See? See? And Engard is the nickel samurai. Huh! Witness! Now, it may just be me, but I... And I do have an active imagination. But just now, didn't you say that the defendant... Mad on guard was wearing his usual racing jacket? <sighs> ah, I'm so sorry. So why did you just put them based on what they wear? That wasn't the point to what he said, but okay. If I want to train your stress, I said I have to put up with this wearing. Uh, so, uh, so uh, it's not for the city, is right? I've got the tip. It's, it's out, so heavy. I, 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 uh, fuck. <laughs> I can't. There. Understand? I'm sure, here. if I can't get it. about this interesting and dark and beyond curling. You're such a good temperature from Edgy Poo. He's <laughs> all from style. I'm now attempting. Hold your tongue I'm still there for one second. Well, you're so getting you better with each try, Shiroi. <sighs> Give it a bit more practice and you'll be on to it. I am determined to read her dialogue. <laughs> well, determination oh. is a must. Just to guard the nickel samurai? Yeah. But when you think about it... No, old bag, we don't need to think about it. You clearly oh, made oh, another oh, assumption. They're really one and the same anyway. Just like the powers in the Silver Samurai. Oh, wait. Miss Old Bag! This is a very important point we're talking about. You can tell because the theme has changed. Edgy Poo, do you think so too? Well, it might be something worth thinking about. I've learned the hard way never to underestimate these sort of things. Just say it's important and agree with me for a change. No. I can't be that easy on you, right? Witness, think carefully and try to remember as much as you can before you testify. Why don't you tell that to every witness, Your Honor? <sighs> All right, if you insist. And again, this one is a bit older than the usuals. I should be the one sighing, not you. <sighs> I'm so exasperated, I think I need to save and take a break here. Or just take a break here. Very well, everybody. I will continue my testimony in the next part. So see please ya. stay tuned in. God see help ya. us all, but see you then.